President Trump called the Texas gunman deranged and said the shooting is a mental health problem at the highest level. He made the comment overnight at a joint news conference in Tokyo with the Prime Minister of Japan. The president is wrapping up the Japanese part of a five-nation trip through Asia. He will be in Seoul, South Korea tomorrow before going to Beijing, China. Major Garrett, Major Garrett is traveling with the president. He's in Tokyo. Good morning. Good morning. Confronted with a second mass shooting of his presidency, this time while traveling in a country where gun violence is virtually non-existent, President Trump offered prayers and condolences. And just as he did after the Las Vegas massacre, said in these early grief-filled hours, it is simply too soon to talk about gun control. This isn't a guns situation. I mean, we could go into it, but it's a little bit soon to go into it. Standing with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, the president cast the Texas massacre strictly as a matter of mental illness. This is a mental health problem at the highest level. In his first remarks on the shooting, Mr. Trump called it an act of evil, but did not, as he did soon after the terrorist attack in New York, describe the assailant as an animal. The victims and their families were in their place of sacred worship. We cannot put into words the pain and grief we all feel. The president came to Japan to begin a region-wide push to intensify economic and diplomatic pressure on North Korea, repeating his determination to force Pyongyang to relinquish its nuclear weapons and ballistic missiles that U.S. intelligence fears could soon reach the U.S. mainland. The era of strategic patience is over. Some people said that my rhetoric is very strong. But look what's happened with very weak rhetoric over the last 25 years. Abe has pledged to increase military spending to prevent more ballistic missiles launched over his country by North Korea. Mr. Trump said the U.S. could help the prime minister with that problem. He will shoot him out of the sky when he completes the purchase of lots of additional military equipment from the United States. During his two days here, the president said repeatedly Japan was inclined to purchase a wide variety of U.S. weaponry. For the most part, the prime minister remained quiet during these declarations, but in the end said Japan is inclined to purchase more F-35s and anti-missile ships for its Navy. Specifics remain elusive and may fall well short of the president's lofty expectations. Nora? All right, Major Garrett in Tokyo, thank you.